Hey there, everyone. It's Denise Salcedo. Welcome back to the channel. With me right now is Todd Stafford, ahead of UNF 14. You are going to be making your debut at the show, man. How does it feel uh, to you know be one of the top contenders and then head into UNF 14? It feels pretty good. It feels pretty good. Uh, I'm excited. Uh, I'm anxious to get back in the cage. 2023 has been a wild year for me. It's been a wild year. Um, I got ran over by a car in July. Yeah, it's crazy, I know. Got ran over by a car. My brother and I, we were on the side of the 15 freeway, had a near-death experience, you know, got ran over by a car. We're good now, we're recovering, but uh, I'm able to return to the cage December 2nd and uh, show how much I love fighting and show how good I am. So wh how was your body after you got run over? Like, were you okay? Like, what, did, what injuries did you sustain? So they said, uh, miraculously, I'm a fighter, I guess, because I didn't even have a concussion. I had just, I had a couple cuts. I don't know if you could still see, but I had a couple uh, cuts yeah, on my yeah. head right here. That's about it. Had about 17 staples in my head, and I was back to work about three weeks to a month later. Wow, I can't believe it. That is terrifying. Yeah. Uh, when you mention a wild year, that definitely is a wild year. You know, so obviously getting back into the cage and, you know, starting up with a new company for you, how important is it to get more momentum um, with your MMA career? Well, with getting hit by the car, having that near, near death experience, it kind of just opened my eyes and really what I want to do. You know, I'm 26 years old. I'm not getting any younger. I'm not getting, you know, body's only going to age. So this thing right here, I got, I got to get it wrapped around my waist. So right now, Zane Palacio, he's the guy in the way. I'm not worried about him at all. He's tall. He's got some good striking, but I'm going to stand in the center of the octagon, put the pressure on him. He's going to back up. I'm going to hit him. He's not going to like it. He's going to go down. So you're feeling and sounding very confident. Very confident. Very confident. For you, what would you say makes you the most confident in yourself? Like, talk to us about your training. Talk to us about what kind of fighter you are, what your mentality is heading into that cage. I train at Dan Henderson's Athletic Fitness Center. Trevor Wells is one of my main training partners. He's, I think, the best fly, flyweight in the world. Jeff Creighton, he is one of the best strikers that I, I think that you could get coached by. He isn't just a striker, he's a full MMA fighter and he picks all the little tools and all the things that I'm good at, that I'm not the best at, and he finds a way to work them in the best for me. And I think we're finding a real, real good strategy, a real good fight game. And I'm excited to come back December 2nd and show how good at fighting I am. Hell yeah, I love that. Now, what would you say is your biggest motivating factor? My kids. My kids. I got two, two boys. I got a four-year-old, Travis, and then a one-year-old, Levi. Uh, they're my world, those two and my wife. You know, I try to do everything I can for them. I work 50, 60 hours a week, train, and take care of them. You know, it's a lot, but showing them that I can have my own personal goals, do something and still be happy and still be a part of the family. It's like a real big, big thing for me. I want to be able to show them like you don't just have to do one thing. You can do what makes you happy and what makes other ha other people happy as well. It's inspirational and I appreciate you doing all of that. I'm sure your family does too. That's very awesome. I can't wait to see you make your debut at UNF 14. For those of you who want to make sure you're there, the link is in the description box below to grab your tickets. Catch you on the next one.